at actually, mas mataas pa dahil kakaulan. Okay? Yung, alam niyo yung, after studying all of these things, no? especially yung, what went wrong? What happened? Eh, lahat nun. Talagang lahat ng detalye, talagang, basta may downtime at may naisip na bago, matanong ko ano ba nangyari dito, ano ba nangyari dyan. Okay? Tapos, you know one of the things that I discovered later on? Ngayon, why did they change the plan? Again, your guess is as good as mine. No? And them, no? At, alam mo ba kayong them, baka wrong pronoun eh. No? Dahil po kasi, inumalabas after in-interview yung mga survivors, marami nito si Napenas eh. Hindi ko alam kung Napenas and some of his, yung deputy niya, uh, some of his staff. Pero umabot na rin sa akin yung mga report ng mga maraming kumukontra noong pinepresent yung plano. No? Nag-aagam-agam. Nung minitin ko yung survivors ng 84, which was a Friday, yung after dinala yung those who died, yung I distinctly remember, one was an, uh, an NCO, medyo stocky guy, uh, may bigote pa yata, may itim, sabi, sabi sa akin, Sir, alam na naman yung mapanganib itong mission na to. No? At uh, pa, may pagka-suicide. Kung wala yung artillery, wala kami laban. So, medyo nasak ako nung sinabi yun. Sabi ko, sino mag-uutos ng suicide? Hindi natin gawain yung papasok ko yung suicide. Okay. Now, I, I just want to emphasize, no? Yung, balik nga doon sa slide ng box. Nung, yan, ito, ito. Mawawala ba yung nasa taas? Okay. Oh. This is supposed to be estimated, lahat nito mga to, 3,400. Okay. Tapos ang papasok ng SAF, as initially briefed sa akin, na Seaborn, was 160. And that's what prompted me to ask, hindi ba yan ang formula ng Pintakasi? No. And, uh, Neo Kinotra, that's why I insisted, and I got two yesers from the Penas, who was doing the entire briefing. No. Kaya nga kailangan kayong mag-coordinate. Yes, sir, pag-move namin. Ba, hindi ka ako, hindi pwedeng pag-move nyo. No? Ipopos, yung, yung kanyon, kailangan nasa pwesto na lahat ng kailangan niya mapatakan. Di ba, yung co-cover yung escape nyo, bubuksan yung entry nyo, eh, dapat nasa posisyon siya na maabot ng range niya. O, yung pagkailangan ninyo yung armor, no? samba nyo kailangan ninyo yung armor, ipiproposisyon mo dyan. Kung kailangan natin ng aircraft, na ikaw rin makakaalam kung pag-exit, mag-helicopter na kayo, kailangan rin nasa distance na malapit na hindi mabubuko yung mission nyo, na nandiyan na yung gasolina. I think everybody understands. So. Yung, these people, the AFP, that you will coordinate with, need time to prepare all of these things. Yeah. Hindi, at I think I actually used the phrase, huwag naman yung gawin pizza 30 minutes or it's on us. Hindi mangyayari yun. No? Tapos doon tumigil yung conversation after a second, yes sir that we will coordinate. And, yung, can I just add, doon sa coordination naman, at again, no, I don't want to impute uh, negative things on anybody. There were two coordination meetings done, and I was given these details, again, after this incident. Na. Uh, one in Aguinaldo, and the second one in Sambuanga. In Aguinaldo, basically, nag-resulta, coordination between the AP and the PNP. Mag-usap tayo sa Sambuanga to finalize all the details. Yung meeting sa Sambuanga happened, however, yung may dala ng intelligence package, which basically says, sa inyong kalaban, ilan sila, anong armas nila, anong pwesto, all of that. Yung may dala ng intelligence package na PNP did not show up. Oh. Therefore, hindi natapos yung coordination. So, I was made to understand that as far as the AFP was concerned, they were still awaiting uh, this intelligence package, then a more thorough coordination na lahat na nung specifics ilalabas. So they were under the impression na hindi pago. Okay. Now, I'd like to think that na Peñas, no, in his own way, That was former President uh, Noy Noy Aquino explaining how Oplan Exodus was planned, of course, this operation is pertaining to the PNP Special Action Forces led operation um, to carry out the arrest of Julkilfi bin Hir, alias Marwan. This comes, or the former president's uh, 
Press briefing comes after charges were filed against him in relation to the botched operation which led to the killing of 44 SAF officers. The Office of the Ombudsman has filed charges against the former president, first for usurpation of authority and violation of anti-graft and corrupt practices. As Let's go back to the uh, press conference. Pakita ko lang sa inyo sa Buwanga. Mamaya natin pag-usapin sa Buwanga, better ba with the picture? No. Baka clear with the picture. Okay. So, basta ang bottom line nito, no? E, ultimo nung pagsakay ko ng aeroplano papunta sa Buwanga, dahil titignan ko ako ano nangyari, bakit na-penetrate, bakit yung hardened area, bakit nagkaroon ng bombahan. Kausap ko yung commanding general ng Air Force at the time, si Jeff Delgado, whom I told, Jeff, na ang, ako, ang preso ko, nag-coordinate lahat. Everybody was saying, we coordinated. At yung pagsabi... We're explaining, uh, we're uh, experiencing some technical uh, glitches, but again, that was former President Noy Noy Aquino explaining inside on how Oplan Exodus was planned. He started out by saying that even before his time, there have been joint operations between the uh, police and the AFP against uh, terrorists. President Aquino there also earlier saying that uh, he, has, he was assured that friendly forces were around the vicinity where the operation was to take place. However, during the actual operation, he said these supposed friendly forces were not in position as he was told. Earlier, also, President or former President Noy Noy Aquino showing some photos of airboats. He said these are among the assets which uh, could have also been used had there been proper coordination. He also talked about a waterborne operation that was also considered as an option to carry out Oplan Exodus. Uh, President or former President Aquino rather again also emphasizing that he has he was always emphasizing the need for proper coordination between the PNP and the AFP. Of course, President or former President Aquino there uh, responding or presenting this to the media following the charges filed against him before the Sandigan Bayan. The Office of the Ombudsman filed charges against him. First, usurpation of authority and violation of the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. Rather, the former president already posted bail 30,000 pesos for the um, Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act violation and also 10,000 pesos for usurpation of authority. Again, that was former President Tony Aquino explaining his side on how Oplan Exodus was planned. So, baka, baka best, ano, we'll start with your questions. Then, baka I can have a closing statement instead of an opening statement. Yung, well, yun yung isang bagay na palagay ko hindi ko dapat pag-usapan raw. Yung, I, I was told for instance that yung uh, right of the prosecution, in this case Ombudsman, no, to amend the information that they filed para up to a certain point. Eh. No. So baka naman tulungan ko pa silang pahirapan ako. Kaya yung ano yung plans namin, kami na lang muna siguro dapat may alam nito. But um, and again, there are so many uh, very technical terms to the lawyers. And my lawyers are still at the Sandigan Bayan. Uh, they're finishing certain things there. Maka best not to discuss those plans. Patricia Mangune po, sir, from TV5. Sir, ano na lang muna yung reaction ninyo? Because the VACC is pushing na isama daw po yung homicide doon sa case nyo sa SAF 44. Reaction nyo na lang, sir, dito. Okay, still yeah. I just want to compose the, the answer to that. Yung, nung una lumabas kasi yung, yung complaint, you yeah. um, I was being charged uh, by being... Homicide resulting from reckless imprudence. At sa totoo lang, parang napag-isip lang ako ng panahon na yun na ako yung nag insist na bawasan ang bawasan yung risk no? towards this operation. And I can show you parang part of the, yung some of the slides uh, pertain to that. No? 
So sabi ko, ako pa ako ang kakasuhan niyo na reckless ko ako yung para nag-insist na bawasan niyo risk. Okay? Uh, baka I can show you some slides uh, just to make this very clear. Yung bang letter nung 2013 kasama dito sa slides. Pwede ba niyo idagdag? Okay. Pakita ko lang muna ano. Hindi na ka slide. Baka we can proceed to the others. Pa pakita ka rin this nung inbox. Pakita natin inbox. Okay. Hindi ka rito kakapal yung letter, JC. No? <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a letter addressed to me, dated. Okay. We received this uh, March 20, 2013. No? It is a letter addressed to me. It comes from uh, General Purisima. And it talks about uh, an operation headed by uh, Police Chief Superintendent um, Noel de los Reyes, who I understand was a regional director for the arm at that point in time. Basically, it's, a, it's very thin. You know, it complains about the lack of uh, cooperation from the AFP, who were, who were going to provide um, our equipment and men no, to assist the PNP in arresting, if I remember correctly, you know, uh, a member of a private armed group in the same area. You know. Uh, this person resisted. I understand he was killed. There were two that were arrested, and on their way out, you know, they almost suffered yung a pintakasi. Fortunately, yung the mechanized brigade was able to provide them assistance, and they were extricated. So as early as 2013, para mang inemphasize sa akin or tinuruan ako yung buong konsepto ng pintakasi, no. At just to be clear, ano ba yung pintakasi? Pag overwhelming yung pwersang kalaban ng gobyerno, na yun sa Muslim areas, uh, lahat sasali. Okay. Can I... Uh, delicious. <laughs>